Thank you. It's my honor to be with you all. And thank you to Rachel. And a special thank you to all of the activists. If you're on this call, you're an activist. And the advocates who have taken the time and who bring to this conversation an experience, a firsthand knowledge about the issues that every day the Consumer Product Safety Commission tackles and tries to solve. This agency is about public health and safety in such a fundamental way. You know, I'm on a number of committees, Armed Services, which deals with the Department of Defense, Veterans Affairs, the Veterans Administration, Judiciary, dealing with the Department of Justice, and the Commerce Committee, also an array of agencies. But none is closer to my heart than the Consumer Product Safety Commission. I'm going to tell you why. For decades, literally, as Attorney General of the State of Connecticut, I worked in partnership with this agency. And I saw firsthand how it can protect kids on a playground from the bad kinds of material on which they may fall, how it protects children from dressers that may fall on them if it does its job, how it can protect against chemicals and toys and other dangerous things that children may play with and protect families against dangerous products generally, if it does its job, if it is supported by Congress and if it has effective people in its leadership. I think Republicans kind of thought that they could slip through this nominee, that Nancy Beck would somehow get there under the radar without anybody raising a voice or calling attention to her. But I'm so grateful for this opportunity to sound the alarm because she is exactly, and I mean exactly, what this agency does not need. And I might just say that she fits very well the pattern of the Trump administration, which is to appoint people who have opposed the very mission of the agency that they are being appointed to lead. And you can go down the list, I'm not gonna do it now, but in this instance, her record is antithetical to the core mission of this agency. She is anti-environment. She is anti-science. She is anti-consumer. She is a perfect storm for this agency in leadership. She showed how she was anti-environment in the EPA, having served at the American Chemistry Council as its senior director when she opposed regulations that would protect people from harmful chemicals. She showed in the White House that she was anti-science when she delayed and stalled the kinds of directives that would have helped save people from COVID-19. And she has proved again and again that she is anti-consumer on issues like PFAS, which as you know, is a very dangerous chemical with neurological defects. It's commonly accepted now that it should be banned in firefighting materials. We're working on the defense industry to try to persuade our military to do better. And the defense secretary himself has said that we should do better. But Nancy Beck has proved she is anti-environment. There are many other areas where her record belies any claim to protect consumers or protect our environment or the health and safety of the American people. And we're going to be asking tough questions of her tomorrow in the Commerce Committee when her hearing begins at 2.30 because the American public deserves to know how abhorrent her appointment would be. And this is a an appointee who ought to be no holds barred opposed because it is going to be bad for really the American public who may be unaware of this appointment, but who will feel the brunt of her abhorrent leadership. 